Hi everyone! So look, this is a... What, what am I calling this? At, at this point in my video, this recording this video, I have no idea what I'm calling it. I'm going to figure it out right now, it's just so that as I'm watching, and you know, well, not as I'm watching, but as I'm saving this, when I save it, I will know what to call it. What do we got? We got, um, the Christmas gift card cash valentine haul? Sort of? Because for one, I use the cash I got for Christmas and the gift card. So, um, part one makes sense. And I also have some Valentine stuff. A full, actual full bag, like full bag of Valentine stuff that I they had out at the dollar store. Seeing as they have Valentine stuff out now. And I got PJ bottoms on because my legs are feeling so, like, I had jeans on, I had tights on, I had tight things on here. And I'm on my period. TMI, I don't fucking care. And... I'm going to be having, like, lactose intolerance effects right now because I got this today! This is just, you know, this was an iced tea, and it's not a, it's not an iced latte, it's a, um, as I said, it's an iced tea but with milk in it. And I got, like, kind of got the special tea of the day. They had two flavors going on, which was, uh, one of them was Cocoa Boost and something else, but I got Cocoa Boost on recommend from someone. And they use, I'm guessing they there's a shot or two of agave in there. There's milk in here, and then I wasn't completely satisfied, so I put a shot of, like, sugar in there, and it made it good. And this was actually good. And as I've said before, most chocolate ones that have, like, chocolate, I just get coffee, and it's not good. This has been decently good. I don't get a lot of chocolate. I get, like... A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of the puree, puree, something, something to that along those lines, and something else. But if you've been to David's Tea and you know the Cocoa Boost, there's also stevia in there. But you'll know like the like the two flavors I'm trying to describe, like because there's chocolate, there's stevia, like stevia leaf, stevia sugar, that p word, and then something else. I can't for the life of me remember what it is, but it's in there. Or if you go onto the website and you look for um, Coco Boost, I'm pretty sure they will have like its flavorings on there. And it's good. I think I'll do this. And this is like, an, this is an herbal tea. And it's not that bad. It's not like, cause I've had other stuff and it's like, bleh. But, and this, sadly this is regular milk. They asked for, they said 2% or soy. And I don't like soy or and I've never tried it, but I know I don't like it. I don't want it. So I'm going to have a lovely time with this later. I haven't yet, but at some point I will. So let's get into this haul. So I have a lot, quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to do the small stuff first, like single items, and then I'll get to like the bigger stuff. All right, the first thing I got here is the body shop. It's annoying that it doesn't have handles on it, but I put it in another bag. And this is a necessity I needed to buy. And that was my body polish. This is the strawberry flavored body polish. And this is the only size you really get, but what I got. And I use this as like, you know, like a body scrub. So I, yeah, I use this to um, like on my pits before I shave and like around there and on my legs. And sometimes like I will do like not often, often, but I will do like, you know, a, not my head, but like a body, everything from the neck below, a body scrub, and use this. This is my usual one, but sometimes from Bath and Body Works, I can get my seasonal scent in a body scrub, like I did with gingerbread latte. And so I'll use the gingerbread for like the Christmas season, as I say. But this I use pretty much any other time, any other time. Like I don't have like seasonal scrub, so. This is really good. I do recommend this. This cost for taxes is $22, but with tax it came to like $25, $24.86. But I paid $24.85 because I always pay in cash. It's not that bad. And I use a little of it. And like when I'm doing like just this, yeah, when I'm just doing this, if I'm doing my whole body and I put it on the, uh, the scrub, I even, I just do this, make sure I get it all over. I it, like I hardly use a lot of it. I use a little bit more when when I'm just doing this or if I'm just um, doing my legs like because I'll use this when I shave my leg but I can go through this in two months I like use it in the span of two months because I didn't buy it for Christmas I don't think I bought it in December 
but I'm pretty sure I bought it in November. Yeah, I don't think I even bought it for December because I didn't buy- when I went to the mall, I never went back- really went back to the mall uh, after Black Friday. Yes, this is good, and the price is not that bad. It used to be 20 I thought- I thought it would used to be 20 but it's not that bad of a price, especially when you're going- buying it from the body shop, and I like- I like this. This is good. I haven't found anything other than the Bath & Body Works brand that I like in uh, my body polish or body scrub. So, I do recommend it. Even the price. They do have a discount card, but you have to pay $10 a, a year. Yeah. Once a year, you have to pay $10. And, like, I only buy it, like, every other month. and So, it's not really worth it to me, but if you're going constantly... It is a beneficial thing. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing. This is one of the main things I went there for. I had a gift card for this. This is one of the main things. Nobody bought this for me, and I I actually asked, asked for this for Manny's parents and sister, slash sister, and I've already gotten their gifts, so I'm not expecting anything else from them, so I could freely buy this, but I needed it badly, and it is the... Xbox One Play and Charge Kit, and this is a recycled one, which is awesome and for a, um, even for, like, I have a platinum card, and I got the platinum pri platinum card price, at least I should have, let me see, yes, I got the platinum char card price, which is good, very nice, and I don't know why anyone would return this, this is fantastic, I don't even use it, like, recharge, Recharge while you play or after. Say goodbye to disposable batteries. Like, I always have my 360 one. I always have it plugged in. But I'm thinking, because I think the Xbox One only has one port, which is weird. The 360 has at least two ports, like USB port. Well, I don't know why. But anyway, I'm just saying this because I'm pretty sure the LEGO Dimensions, like that board thing that you need, it has to be plugged into the system. I'm pretty, I will find out if I have two ports, I think. I'm pretty sure I only have one, which I thought was really weird. But if I have more than one, I'm, I'm if I have more than one, I think they're in the back. But anyway, I got this because, as you might know, if you've bought, like, 360 or any console and you have it right away, the cord you get in the box is pretty short. This is ten, at least 10 feet. But regardless, it is fucking long, okay? These cords are freaking long. You're not gonna say how long it is because it just says includes rechargeable lithium ion battery pack, USB charging cable. But the last when I checked on online, like I think it was, it was either Best Buy or like EB Games website, it said it was 10 feet long. Okay, 10 fucking feet long. Like that's fantastic. I love it. So I needed this because I don't want to be sitting like at the edge of my bed. I have to sit at the edge of my bed even attempt to use the cord I have for my X1 and I want to be able to sit properly so like I sit at the back sit at my bed a bed using my pillows as my this thing so I needed this I desperately needed this and I used my card and I didn't even use all of it because it cost in total 20 29 and I have four dollars and 71 cents left on my card so I can use that and it won't expire I got points. I don't know where my- they don't really say where my points is, but if I go online, it'll have my points. I, like, cause literally I was like, stayed up all night, which is- I shouldn't have done that, but- I was up late last night because I, like, I was doing certain stuff, and I'm like, okay, I don't have this, so I can go buy it. And then I'm like, nah, what about games? I gotta check games. And I'm like, the game- the 360 games I have, they are not backwards compatible with Xbox One. And so, like, I'm doing this thing, and I go to talk, talk to one of the volunteers for, uh, at Microsoft Xbox systems, and I completely fudged with the first person. I hope they're not mad at me. Like, I am sorry. I hope they just thought, like, oh, they, they got away from the- got away from their chat box, or, like, they're in the bathroom, they were in there for a long time. So I had to do it again, and I got, I got a different person, which was good. And they basically told me that they only have the currently updated list, and they're always, like, uh, games being- on it, being updated on there and like being uh, backwards compatible. But there is a um, feedback page or form and it is uh, where you can go vote for your games. And three out of the four games I have that I want to play on my Xbox One are being voted on, which is great. And two of them are my Lego ones. And literally I'm reading the comments on there and it's like, all Lego games should be backwards compatible. And I'm like, yes, they should. They're fucking fantastic. And especially they're really good for your kids. And also, okay. Certain people, like, on, on the Deadpool one, because I have a Deadpool one, uh, majority of them are on the Deadpool, but some of them are very few, and I'm not, I only just read the first page of comments, and they're basically saying, just go buy a new one, or go take the one you have, take it back, and be like, hey, I want to exchange it, I want to turn this for some cash, and I want to get this one. But people are not going to do that, because either A, it's going to cost, it just, it, it's going to cost, either going to cost more than when you, 
you paid for like the 360 version. Two, they may like if you have an, an edge card, you might be able to get like if you have a plat, say you bought it at its normal price, but you're going like normal price 360 and you want the X1 and you have a platinum card, or like I think a gold card is more, like level four. Because I'm at level three, that's what platinum is. But anyway, and it can be less expensive if you have like the platinum card. That's one thing, but if you're on like the red card, because you can still get a discount if you're on the red card. No, you can get points if you're on the red card, which is level one. You're gonna have to pay like that fraction of money. Say like you cost like what is it? Like say it's like thirty nine ninety nine, you pay for that. And then on the X one it's gonna cost like an additional five dollars. People don't want to pay that additional five dollars out of their pocket. Like they don't want to do that, especially if they have like m like more than five games. I'm very picky, but most people will have like a range of stuff. For example, the Lego games. There's like <sighs> between like ten to fifteen games, like individual. Like I'm not including like like the two Middle Earth games, the two Harry Potter games, and I'm pretty sure there's like three uh, Star Wars ones. I'm not insane. Like if you just have like if you have like all of them, all individual discs. There's like 10 to 15 of them. And these people, like these parents, are like, I'm not gonna pay like 100 to whatever for an additional like copy of the game. Cause then you have like literally two copies of the game. Or like, just, they're not, it's stupid. It's really stupid, okay? And they're not going to pay that additional money for like, I don't like if you're telling people like, just go buy the Xbox One, okay, version. Or like go return the ones that you have and then get the Xbox Ones. Because either you buy new or you buy like, re you re um, recycled. You may have to pay like an additional, like as I said, like five dollars. That's just stupid. Cause you, like you may not have enough money with like returning, like you can't, you won't, more than likely you will not be able to return and get the exact same money for the 360 games that you bought, like say like five years ago. It's not going to be the same price. They more than likely have gone down in price. They would have to pay like an additional five dollars, roughly. I think that's like about max. I'm just guessing. On probably each individual game. And that's like 10 to 15, as I said. So like five times 10, five times 10 is, is like 50 bucks. And then like an additional five more. It's like 80 bucks, okay? Like, and yeah, like, if you're telling them to do that, it's like another 100 bucks, roughly, that they would have to pay on top of what they already paid for with the 360 ones. And then other people are saying, like, oh, just go buy, like, like the, the Xbox One copy. Just go buy that. It's like, besides, like, having to pay, like, the Deadpool one, I think, came out two years ago. I haven't had my 360 that long, because I was late to the getting the 360s. Okay, so I got my, my Deadpool, I think it came out two years ago. One to two years ago, roughly. And it cost me, like, 50 bucks. It, it was a pretty penny. It was like 30 to 50 bucks. It was a pretty penny because I bought it brand new. Brand speaking new. But I think I also got it on platinum card. But whatever. People are not going to do that and have two copies. Two flipping copies of the game that they have. Because that is just ridiculous. It's one thing to have like a theatrical version. And then like having an extended version of like Lord of the Rings for example. That's the best example I have right now because it's scaring me in the face. There's a theatrical one. And then you have the extended edition. Because the extended edition doesn't have the theatrical like version. Because sometimes people just want that. But you've got sort of collectors like myself. Who, for one thing, I do fanfic, and the theatrical version sometimes have a different version of the scene slightly than they do in the extended version. So sometimes there are slightly different lines, there is a different way that they have a certain path. Mainly it's just a certain line. Also, it's because some of like the box art. Like, I have the, uh, pretty, I have, I got the uh, Lord of the Rings box edition, so they're, they're gorgeous. So they come in a, a box, and then like each movie, all three movies are individually boxed themselves, and they look like books. freaking beautiful. And then my boyfriend got me the uh, second and third Hobbit movie, and they're two individual things. They're beautiful. I also got, you know, my figures that are up here. Oh, now people, it's one thing when you're buying like collector editions, it's another thing where it's like, I just want to be able to play my game. I want to just, I just want to be able to play it. But they're, people are basically telling them, just go get the game. Go get the game that you already have on a 360. Just go buy the Xbox One edition. And they're the exactly the same. There's nothing different between the two. It's just you can play it on two systems. It's ridiculous. Some people can't afford to do that. And some people are just like, it's that's just a stupid idea. It's just really stupid. The main part is people can't afford that. And like, yes, I know you can go try and find it on Amazon or like a discount store like Value Village or this place I know, excuse me, called Nudie. New to you. Like people can do that. But people don't want to have to buy, have to have two different console editions of the same game and they're not even like slightly different they don't even look like different better versions the only reason to have the same game is like if you have like bioshock for example you have the one that came out like you have like the normal edition but then it came out with a collector's edition where you can get all three games all the dlcs they also my best example is in it's either the first one or the second one where you're coming down in the uh the tubes the container thing down into rapture and you see, like, you don't see it in the original version, it's in the newer version, like, the collect it's in the collector edition, that a squid or an octopus is now swimming by you in, uh, like, when you're coming down into Rapture, or it's your, bur you burst out of this room, and you're basically floating down to, like, the sea floor. It's one of those two scenes, but it's a, a newer version of the scene. That's one thing when you have, like, if you have the original that you have, like, either on console or if you bought it on PC, and then you get the collector edition, because either you don't have the other games, or you want to play it on, like, higher res, and, like, it has, like, more 
in the scene, like as I said, like this squid and octopus goes by you in the scene. Like it's a very plain scene in the original, but there's so many more like squid and fishies that pass by you in the collector edition. Also, I think it comes in like a, a prettier box sort of thing. I haven't seen it, but I know like it has all of that stuff. So that's one thing. But if you're just getting the same exact version, the same exact game, it's not even anyway in the way it's slightly different, but you have it for 360 and for Xbox One. And there's no difference between the two. That's what people are like. <sighs> it's just annoying. Okay? It's very annoying. And I don't know how I got on this rant now, but I wanted to get that rant out. Because all last night it was like, and it was getting into my brain when I was trying to go to sleep. It's like, fucking stupid people. That's why, like, the reason I got to this point is because you can vote to tell Microsoft, X Xbox Microsoft people to update the list of compatible games. And Deadpool, to tell you people, is very popular. It's quite popular in the four games that I want. It is, like, one of the highest ones. It's got, like, 16k. I know that's not a lot, whereas some have, like, 207k. That's, I know. That, and I wish there was something, like, in the FAQ about the voting thing. It's like, it needs to either get to this point or, like, majorly surpass this point of so many votes for us to consider of putting it in progress. Because to know if something is going to be on the compatibility list, it has to say in progress or complete. So, yes. I don't want to have to buy a second copy of them. I shouldn't have to, okay? I shouldn't have to. I already spent money on those. Yeah. Oops, I'm going to move on because I, it's getting a little long. <coughs> but I will now be able to play. I will actually be able to, I will be able to watch YouTube now on my Xbox One. I haven't been able to do it. It updated itself, and it's, so it's working fine. Oh my god, my head hurts. But I'll also be able to play the two games that I got for Xbox One for Christmas this year. So, uh, that this was super important for me to have. After, from the point I showed it to you to this point right now, I, ha I needed to get that rant in there. Because some people are just flipping idiots about, like, just go get the just go get another copy or go return slash exchange the copy you have to get the new console ones like I sh you guys should not be able to say anything you just not should not say that just you know, yeah 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 just shut up and vote So I went to Claire's, <laughs> and this was something I have been needing for a good little while, but the price is ridiculous, but I just, I got it because I needed it, and the cash lady, or like the staff that cashed me out, was ba said like, the this is the same price everywhere, because she also went to uh, Kitchen Plus, Kitchen Stuff, Kitchen Stuff Plus, I don't know, it's got a lot of kitcheny and bath stuff. And apparently and this is in the bath section. It's the same price there. So. I got me. I don't know what this would be called. But it is a stand for earrings and necklaces. So you put your earrings here. And then this has got some hooks here. That you can hang your earrings. Your necklaces or bracelets on. I'm going to use it for my necklaces. And like I've been needing this. Because I have seasonal stuff out. I have my Christmas stuff out. I probably will put those back in there but I also have like like stuff that I wear like all the time so like my Vaporeon or like my owl stuff or like you know like my copper earrings and they're just sitting in a little dish and I can't really see them the ones that I want to use I have them sitting in a little dish yes they are out and I could use them but I can't really see them and this actually can sand so I needed something like this. And all the rest of my stuff is in this really beautiful jewelry case. And it's mainly for like rings, necklaces, and bracelets. But I have my ear my ear my earrings in like two or three drawers, but whatever. I can't see them. It's in my flipping closet. And even if I had it out, I wouldn't even be able to see them because they're all like it's all closed up. So I got this, so it would be more visual. I would be able to see it. And be like, hmm, what do I want? I want to wear these today. And I'm going to wear 
this necklace. I pretty much won't be able to use this because my necklaces, some of them are, like my owl ones, they are freaking long, so I probably will have to like, do something. Maybe like hang them up off of these swirly things. I am, my Vaporeon one is pretty short, so. Might be able to use it on here, but more than likely here. But anyway, this cost me, this specific one, there are a bunch of versions. Canadian, because there is a US price on here, it cost me $19 Canadian, so it's about 20-ish bucks. What did I pay? I paid $21.47. Yes. And then some of them were like $24.99 or something like that. It was $24 and change. So it would be like $26 or something. That's ridiculous. Why would I pay $25 bucks for this thing? It's kind of cheap and like it's not even that like special. It's annoying. It's annoying. There was one that I was going to get and it was like $18.50. That was the lowest price, I'm telling you, it was the lowest price. Ridiculous. But, the way it was, it just, it was stupid, and like, the hooks that it had, it was all the way at the bottom. Like, the equivalent of where it was, the hooks were here. It was a different shape. This was bigger, but I don't have, usually have that many earrings. So, this was fine, and like, I would, I'd rather have my necklaces, like, up here, because, you know, they're long. So. I've been needing this for like three months now and I finally was able to get it. Just like my play and charge cord, like these two things, those two, that and this, like I re I, oh, I need them for like being able to live my life and be able to use things. Like yes, gaming may not be like, you need that to live your life. Well yes, if I'm going to use some of the stuff that I have, I need it. It, 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 it makes it life, it makes life easier, okay? It needs to be made easier. I went to Hot Topic. Uh, I'd say half the places I went to, I did not have a coupon, but I used like Christmas money and I had my OW check and I already put the money for the four things, I, the, my Walmart order and my bus money and the stuff that I needed to do. That's already, when I went to the bank this morning, I did all that stuff or like, you know, when I left the house, I already took care of that stuff. So this, I went to do like their clearance and like the semi-annual sale stuff. This is in their major, major, already in the clearance section. So this clearance section is buy one, get the, the second one free. So I found this, this is, there was like two left that was including this one. And it is a X-Men keychain. And it's like classic, classic stuff there, okay? And besides having like this ring, it has a clip, which is nice. And this, as you might be able to see, was $6.99. Originally it was $10.90, which is nice. And it's it's heavy. And it's got the official it's it's decent metal. I'm guessing it's metal. But it was made in China. Well the card was made in China. Nope, they actually had braided on here made in China, but it's decent hard metal and all like melded together like e like made together so this was what i paid for because it cost me 7.90 and then the other thing i got this i got for free because it was 4.98 the change was somehow ripped off i don't know but it was like it would have been i could say maybe it was four bucks but it was it's 4.98 on here but i got a Character key, limited edition. I got this. This a certif- oh, I got a certificate of authenticity back here. Ow. Wow, this already had a yellow sticker on there for 20 bucks. Yeah, but, you know, they do this. Because that's the lowest price. It is a certificate of authenticity, bell, character key, hot topic, variant edition. This document certifies that the accompanying piece of art is an Akum Archives Limited Character Key Cell created using character designs from Beauty and the Beast 1992. This individual numbered piece features Bell along with supplementary character information and a reference color key and is available exclusively through Hot Topic in a limited edition of 10,000 pieces plus 10 artist proofs and 9 5 printer proofs. This doesn't have a number on here, but there was. I saw these like on the shelf last year or really earlier this year, and then I saw a few of these in the, um, the clearance bin, and then this was gone somehow. This is so cool. I haven't even taken it out of the package, and then here's the 
certificate. I don't, there's, it doesn't have a number on here, but like, it's official. It's got a certificate of authenticity. It doesn't say what number out of, like, what number it is, but this is a freaking tool. Cool. Tool. Cool. I've been wanting, kind of wanting this. I'm gonna add, this is already framed, but I'm gonna get another additional frame, like, frame frame to put it in. Because this is pretty freaking cool. I liked it. I really liked it. And I'm glad I got it for free, basically. Basically took uh, $2.91 from the keychain and it took $2.07 from the bell thing and basically made, I'm guessing, $4.98 from that. So that I basically paid $6.99. I'm very really happy with that purchase. I went to Blue Notes and I got pants from sale. They're 10 bucks. Hold on. No, these are old. Sorry. These are Old Navy. I only got these. This is the Famous Jeans Mid Rise Curvy Boot Cut for regular. I am a size. I got a four. Oh, yeah. I'm a four or a six, depending. I'm trying to get to a. I'm trying. I'm going to be a little tight in this in the waist just because, like, I'm a little big, a little fat. Fat for my personal, my optimal weight. I'm just a little chunky. I have a little, I have a bike tire. Let's just say, I have a, I have a bike tire. I'm not saying I have a full tire. And I'm not trying to make fun. This is just my personal size that I have. And I'm generally happy with it, but, you know, I don't want to have to be like, flip, flipping, like, muffin top. I have a muffin top, okay? Well, I'm gonna get a muffin top from a size four. And I'm a regular, which, um, I'm a regular in my pant length, and this is a, um, a white, a white wash, a light wash, and yeah. So on sale, it was $39.50, and I don't know how much it is now, but it was 40% off. And I used my coupe, my, my Old Navy gift card that I got for Christmas, and I got these. I had to pay a few, I had to pay, like, Two bucks. I had to pay. What did I pay? I paid two bucks. No, I paid a dollar something because I got twenty-two cents back. Oh, I got twenty back. It was a dollar eighty. I paid a dollar and eighty cents because I got twenty cents back. I paid a buck eighty for these. I need more because literally every week I this recently I've been running out of pants. I have to have no pants to wear. I had like literally no pants to wear today. Ah. So since I mentioned Blue Notes, I went to Blue Notes, and I got some jeans. These were 10 bucks. Yes, and I am a 27.34. Well, I am a 27, which is a size 4 at Old Navy, or a 29, which is a size, is a size 6. And uh, these have a 34 leg, so these are the long legs. Uh, usually I'm a 27.32, but... I got the longer pant because I like that. And these are the Mid-Rise Boot Cut Parish. Ten flippin' bucks. And these usually are $29.99. These are usually 40 bucks. Like, wow, why are jeans so much? I loved getting them for Air from Air Apostle because they're all they were usually always discounted. But they stopped getting like boot cut flare, which is what I wear, because I can't stand skinny. It feels like my legs are suffocating. Yeah, I'm so glad that Blue Notes, Blue Notes occasionally gets flared, like it's very rare. I have one flared from there, but they more than likely will always have a, um, a boot cut. And same with uh, Old Navy, will always usually have a boot cut. So. I got something else. I got the sweater for 10 bucks as well. I got this to wear over my um, plaid top. Or I could just wear this whenever. It's like a sock monkey type of sweater, okay? We've got... Look at that. I can wear this individually, but I can also feel like I want to wear like my plaid top underneath it. Oh, this could be pretty cool. And I got this for 10 bucks. And for some reason, this literally has no price tag on it so I can't exactly like return it if I wanted to like literally this woman took this tag and scanned it she scanned this barcode that's what she did I like it. I really like it. and it's in a medium so it'll fit me like normal 
don't know. I was very happy, like, oh my god, flipping ten bucks. And these were the part of the um the red line sale, so it was like sixty percent off. Lovely. I had a shopper's card. I got me some melatonin. This is the adult essentials gummies. These technically they were the nighttime gummies, but now it's just melatonin. And natural sleep aid promotes normal sleep cycle, dairy, gluten, and nut free. Lovely. No artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners, but this is a strawberry flavor because it's all red in there. And new, new flavor, yay! Recommended use helps increase the total sleep time, aspect of sleep quality, and people suffering from sleep restriction or altered sleep schedule, i.e., shift work and jet lag. But I use this like, melatonin. You already have melatonin in your brain, and that is like released when you're going to bed. This is just some extra stuff because my brain will not shut up. As I said, it would, did not want to shut up last night. And I was already up so flipping late and I wanted to get up early because I wanted to get this done. I didn't want to come home late. It is already 6.56. 7.56. Okay. And I'm doing this video. It's already going to be an hour like halfway through because I've got like three, three more places to show you. Anyway. I got these to help make me go to sleep faster, and these are $15.99, so these are not really going anywhere. There was like five, including this one there on the shelf, and you get 75 in there, so I don't have to do this for like three months. Another, because I just finished one, which was the nighttime one. Yeah, I got that like three months ago, because you get 75 of these, which is lovely. As I said, this was $15.99, and I had a $25 gift card. So I needed I needed two more mascaras. So I got the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And this is the type of like wand applicator thing that I like. And this is, this is extremely black. It's black. That's what I got. But there was only two of these left of like the um the wand. They had another one which of the wand type of wand applicator that I like. They ran out of that, so I got these. Four bucks each. Okay, whereas everywhere else it is so fucking expensive. And these are cruelty free. This is like like so great. Essence is like the elf brand. Where it's like like cruelty free animal like all this type of stuff. So uh, yeah, they were four ninety nine each. And they're, they're so great. And I was if I still had more money left to use I would have bought uh, an eye pencil, like pencil crayon, and a, uh, a liquid liner. They were so flippin' cheap. I think both of them were like $2.99, something like that. I love this brand. This brand is really nice. I got the um, the eye primer. So lovely. I love it, but I got a headache right now, so this is aggravating. Keep doing this. S S. It's a great brand, okay? It is like buying e.l.f., but it's at Shoppers. It's lovely. It's great. It's lovely to use. It's so lovely to use. And I haven't used the mascara, but I'm pretty sure it will be lovely. Perfectly fine. And I put the eye stuff on there. I love it. I love it. And, like, it's slightly tinted, because I can tell from my natural skin, because I don't put foundation on my face. I don't. But I put the eye primer on, and I can see, like, the difference between my eyelids and my skin. I did do Yankee Candle for the annual sale stuff. And I will tell you this right now. I went to Bath & Body Works to do semi-annual sale stuff. The winter semi-annual. There was nothing. There was nothing there. I was really interested in getting, like, more uh, gingerbread latte. They had zero Christmas stuff. Like, there was, like, five... Uh, like five to seven hand soaps and that was winter candy apple and no vanilla bean noel that's all the christmas stuff that was there at my like this was at my bath and body works i go to i don't know about any of the other ones but that was my that was mine this year when i went today i don't know how it was like earlier like when the sale was officially on but it was a lot of like summer stuff and like i already had a lot of those so i didn't need them so I do have Yankee Candle stuff. And the Yankee Candle had four new ones that they were advertising. They were the three, like, small jars, like, at the front cache that I smelled, and they were lovely. I really loved Mediterranean Breeze and Cafe 
al fresco and uh, this honey lavender gelato. Oh my god, they were so great. I loved the um, cafe al fresco. It freaking smelled like a Tim Hortons ice cappuccino. So beautiful. I can't wait to get like the large jar. It's gonna be lovely. And uh, the other, the second favorite was the honey lavender gelato. Amazing. It was beautiful. And then my third was Mediterranean breeze. And then there's a fourth one, as I said. This one, it would, did smell good, but it wasn't my top three. There was my top three, and then there was this one that did smell good. And it was uh, raspberry? It had raspberries on it. And I, I can't remember the name. See? That's how I know it wasn't my absolute favorite. This was three bucks, and I got a uh, plug-in. This is, because I have no um, spring slash summer scents. And they're all con condensed into each other, and I didn't have any of that stuff. So... I have still some, but I'm running out. So I got this. I've never had this. This is called Fluffy Towels. Open this just to smell. Eh, it's okay. It's lightly perfumed. It's got like laundry type of smell. It's flipping fluffy towels, so. It's gonna have a little bit of like laundry perfume. Not like old kind of perfume. Not old, old, but like. Like Chanel type of stuff. This was this is nice, and I got it and like as I said for spring summer, and I got two of these. These cost me like fifteen bucks each. What were they? They were sorry seven ninety nine. Sorry, no, that's not my actual receipt. This is my actual receipt. They were both fourteen ninety nine. So yeah, fifteen bucks. And I was gonna get two other plugins, but they were both Christmas, and I'm like. I don't need any more Christmas. I still got plenty of Christmas. If I'm gonna get Christmas, I'm gonna get it next year. I can get it next year. The two I got was like balsam and cedar and apple cider. Like they're always gonna have that. They always have them. Okay, I'm okay. What candle did I get? I got two large jars, and these ones I don't have. And this is Garden Hideaway, and this it smells lovely. There is lilac in this. Oh my gosh, it smells beautiful. It's like lilac, but I'm guessing it's lavender. Maybe it's just like purple thing, purple flower. I don't know what that flower is, but it smells like there's lilacs in there. And other like gardeny stuff. This is a little bit too perfume perfumey for my grandma. Thinking of doing this, but she can't really have a lot of perfumey stuff. She can have a lot of more herb stuff. And the lady knew exactly what I was talking about. It was called Fresh Cut Herbs. I don't know why people say herb, because I'm not talking about a person, I'm talking about, like, you know, plant stuff, which is called herbs. Um, yeah, so, oh yeah, this was really nice. I'd never seen this. This is part of the, um, we still have these kicking around, and we've technically discontinued them. I, this was, like, the last one of this smell. So, I grabbed this, because this would be a good spring smell. It's gonna smell lovely. This one. This one's my favorite. I do remember I started using this. This white chocolate apple. Oh, it smells so freaking good. It smells even better when burning. So, like, I knew I started using this. I started using this for the summer. Yes. There was a lot of them, so they might bring back for the semi-annual sale for, like, the summer. Like, I'm pretty sure that they had still quite a bit. It depends on what's left. I'm glad I grabbed this because this technically is a discontinued one. Sad. But now I think I have like, I have this one and I still have some left because I only, it was literally right at the end of summer where I started burning it. So I should still have some left. We're doing Dollarama now because I want to save my, this, my, my last store for last. It's kind of my favorite and where I spent like the most money. I shouldn't have but it got a lot off my list. So, as you probably saw, I got two things of bubble wrap. I couldn't flip and find any last time, and I might have been just com flip completely flipping blind last time, but I grabbed two because I wanted to make sure I had enough to wrap up my breakables. And now I'm, go I'm also going to be getting into, like, Valentine stuff, because that's where I mostly get that. I don't know if I'm going to get any Valentine stuff from, like, home sense winners type of that that kind of stuff i do have a winner's card i have 50 bucks i will go there at some point i don't think they have much in the way of valentine's but anyway. i got a mug and i loved this mug this is a pretty mug they had a 
exact one, but it was like the opposite. So it was a red mug with white hearts, but I loved this. I love the whole like see-through red behind the white and it's got a red inside. Oh, this is my favorite. I think I have a Valentine one. I have one probably. And it's December, beginning of November. Wasn't that cold? It's gonna start getting cold, so I did a thing on getting some mugs. And the last thing in this bag, I have. Look, it's flip the flippin' good towels. Like, oh my gosh, the good towels. Why could you not have these, like, for Christmas and Halloween? Why not? Why? Why? These are the good towels. Like, this is the, like, 100% cotton type towels. Yes, 100% cotton. This is this. Right there. Right there. It may not be, like, good, good cotton, like, amazing cotton, but it's the kind of cotton where it's what you could buy at, like, Walmart, okay? It's gonna be awesome. I loved it. Bag two with the rest of my stuff. Got two more because, as you know, I need a dish towel and then get this cut in half. And it becomes a hand towel. I did this last year with St. Patty's Day. And I have two patterns for Valentine's. There was some other ones, like there was one with like caged birds and then like other ones, but I liked these two patterns. These are very nice. I probably won't be able to use them for Valentine's, which is fine. Be well, cause um, grandma is going to have to like do the whole like making it into a hand towel. I got me two bed socks, bed sleepy socks. Got they're both like a light pink. There was a dark pink. This is the, like these are the light pink and white. So I got just these ones. So they're similar, but this is just like literally two hearts, and this is like a multi heart. These are the ones I liked. But they were out. They were starting to get the Valentine and Easter, cause I'm guessing Easter is not very far off this year. And they had cupcakes. This one is really pretty. This is a Wilton one. It's got um, like a rose type of theme going on with it. Sorry, it's got pl the plastic. And then this is the like the Dollarama brand. And it was a really nice one. These are like the big cupcake holders. I didn't like the ones for like the normal size. I didn't like those. I got these. These are... Um, the Lori Cosmetic Wedges. There are 24 pieces in here. I didn't get these for foundation. I don't, because I still have foundation things. Eventually I'll, I may use these for foundation, but I have stuff like the round discs ones. I got these to use for like making a blend up my nail. Because I tried doing that before, like just painting it on and then painting another layer, but I see people using these, and it'll be a, so much more easier to use these. And these are just, as it says, like this triangle wedge thing. So much e much easier to use these instead of the other thing. And the last thing I bought was this. It is the Dove Go Fresh Cool Essentials 48 hour 14 gram antiperspirant stick. It is the white stick. White stick. And the reason I bought this, and I got this from my boyfriend who read an article about it from a stripper. It is this stripper to keep her privates all like looking fantastic after shaving technically. This after you shave it in the shower, like you exfoliate and you shave and then do all this up like um like you dry it when you come out of the shower. Once you've done that, you're gonna take your cotton cotton ball with a rubbing alcohol and you're gonna gently rub the area you shaved down there. Yes, it's going to sting apparently. And then you use this, it has to be antiperspirant because you do sweat down there, it gets sweaty. And it helps rid of, like, or just, like, you know, keeps the red dots from forming for either a long period of time or, like, ever. Ever appearing when you do shave like that. My, and I can say it actually works because my boyfriend did that. Not like, like, my boyfriend did that to his area, we're gonna say. Apparently it feels freaking fantastic. And he had no red bumps. Yes, I know, I'm being very TMI about this, but I'm telling you it actually works, and I'm gonna use it at some point. I'm not gonna actually shave, I use a, like, a cream hair removal, because, like, yeah. But I'm gonna use it, and I'm gonna try it out, and then hopefully next video, which should be a book review, I should be able to tell you if it worked or not. Because it should, it worked, it worked for her, and she's a stripper, not like, uh, she's like, hold on, she, uh, she's like a, a 
pole dancer type thing, or she's an actual like porn star. She's one of the two. Definitely takes her clothes off in front of people, but it works. It keeps the red bumps from appearing. It keeps it like not soft all the time, but it keeps the red bumps from coming. Like the hair will still grow, but it won't like be aggravated and have red bumps because you sweat down there, and the sweating is what aggravates the hair follicle area down there apparently. So much TMI. My last store, I didn't go in order, is Cinema One. <laughs> Cinema One. I had a coupon for here. I used my coupon for one thing. Here's a little full, as you might have been able to see. But I got Wolverine and the X-Men. And apparently this is the complete series. But I did want the complete series. As far as I know, it's a six-volume series. On here, it says includes all 26 episodes on three discs. So, I, when I say six volumes, it probably is because they take each disc a certain amount of episodes on them, so they made it to six discs, but hopefully it has all of them. This, I really like this. I watched this from the library, and I loved it. It feels, it's not exactly because the, an, the animation is different. It's like a continuation from uh, X-Men Evolutions. Like, they're all grown up, and, like, there are... Some of them have gone on their own way. Some of them, like, um, you know, they're just grown up. It also helps with a fanfic I'm writing. But it's so fantastic. I love it. And there's freaking Nightcrawler in there, okay? It's a big thing for me. And it's loose. Anyway, I love it. I fucking love it. I loved it so much when I watched it. And there's a lot more Nightcrawler in here. In the um, original 90s... TV series, he only has three episodes. Yeah. This, he has so many more episodes. Over ten hours of content. Oh my gosh, yes. And I got bonus stuff. That's always great for me. I love it. If I didn't, that would have been fine. Like, seriously, it's got... Like, oh my gosh. It feels like a continuation. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's not a true continuation from an evolution, but it feels like it could be... Oh. And after I finished at first, I went down that way. In my mall, it's like a big rectangle thing. Or oval type thing. But yes. I just I, I looked at my cash and be like, I am going to spend a hundred dollars here at Cinema One and get a lot checked off of my list. So that's what I did. I have five flipping movies right here. I'm gonna show you the first one, obviously, because you're it's right there. So I got the Blu-ray edition of James and the Giant Peach Special Edition. I've had this on my list for a while and nobody's gotten it. I actually had probably like 10 things at first when I went back to spend like $100 there. I spent 102 put it down to this because I only really wanted to spend 100 and the, the, the 275 I was fine paying that. Yes, I got this and I can't wait to watch it. This is a fantastic movie. I haven't read the book. I should read the book. I have a, I read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. didn't like it and this, that's like the original original. I should read Matilda. I really like Matilda. I eventually, obviously, eventually will read James Peach. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will eventually read them. I should. And this is a really good movie. It is a stop motion animation movie. The beginning and the end are live action. The middle, a chunk, good big chunk of the movie is stop motion animation. It's so good. I really should read it because like it had, it would have more stuff in it. Oh my God. I used to watch this at my cousin Ross's house. Like every time. I would be dropped off there for like, you know, weekly daycare. I'd stay there for the day and just watch a movie. This was one of the movies that we'd watch. It was so fantastic. I love it. The next one I have is also a Blu-ray. Great Mouse Detective. I don't have that because it was still on my list. Maybe I do. Oh crap. Do I still have it? Did I not take it off my list? This is not good. This is not good. Okay, not very good. And I will be returning it. Well, exchanging it for something else. And like, this is another one of them that I love so flippin' much. No, I do not have it. I more probably just borrowed it from the library and watched it because I feel like I watched it recently. I more than likely borrowed it. So, <laughs> this is this. And it's got a bonus stuff. I don't know why this has like, um, like the DVD has more bonus stuff than the Blu ray. But I'm going to pop the blue. I pop the Blu ray in because I got to make sure, always got to make sure that my Blu ray is always working. Because I had two years of my previous one and it kind of died. Maybe two and a half years. But these always work. So. I gotta always make sure my player is working. Next one. Oh, okay. It's a three disc, three disc special edition, and it is the Blu-ray DVD two movie collection of Atlantis. I've got 
Atlantis, The Lost Empire, and Milo's Return. I haven't watched Milo's Return, but I, I do like The Lost Empire. And, you know, it's a great combo. Oh, um, okay. The Blu- oh, the Blu-ray has both movies on there, and then there are two DVZ DVDs on here. Yeah, that's good. It's a good movie, and it may not be one of my favorites, but I did really like it. It was interesting. And, you know, Atlantis is always fascinating, because apparently we used to have one. And it's just a good, a, like, mm, rendition of it. I got The Muppets Christmas Carol. This is a fucking great movie. Everyone loves it. My boyfriend really loves it. And I also got it because bonus shit got a flippin' blooper reel. I love bloopers. I am a easily amused, so I love laughing at stuff. It's got different things. They're more likely just like anything to do with the movie. They're just like additional type of Christmassy stuff. Like it says, Christmas around the world. Gonzo and Rizzo discuss Christmas traditions in Aunt Ruth's fruitcake. And then we have Bay Profiles presents Gonzo, a portrait of the artist as a young weirdo. Get up close and personal with the great Gonzo and come away even more confused in this very special look hosted by Pepe the King Prom. This is a good Christmas movie and yeah, it's good to have. And then the last is a musical. It is Evita and it's uh, a lot of these musicals are only on DVD, I find, like when I was there. So this doesn't, I don't doesn't really have any bonus stuff, which is fine, and it's- I love- I really love this. I really like this mu mu movie, musical, and I've had this on my list also for a while, and I don't know why my aunt hasn't even gotten it for me, because, like, whatever. Yeah, I have it. I love having it. So, I got a lot of stuff, and I'm very happy with everything I got. Oh, Avita, ten flippin' bucks, $9.99. I don't know why it was 10 bucks, but there's this is not even the special edition, and it's just a single DVD, so I'm guessing that's why it's 10 bucks. So, I hope you liked my haul. I am so happy with everything I got. If you liked my video, like my very long ass video, it is an hour and 20 minutes right now, unedited, hit that like button down there to show your support, because oh, I love having a headache and making long fucking haul videos, but I've got that flippin' rant there, so my own fault and if you have any comments or any you like anything that I, I got or like want to talk about any of the movies that I got or you know stuff just you leave it in the comments below come let's have a discussion about awesome movies you probably like those are not awesome movies okay they are not ever worthy right? they're just stupid movies okay like I said I'm easily amused and I love I love Disney movies I love these movies that's why I am buying them okay that is why I'm putting my money and my dad's money towards this okay government money but whatever my money towards this stuff because I love it I love it freaking much okay it's good so I was saying that we do not need negativity in the comments below okay if there is nastiness or negativity, you will not be there, okay? We do not need negativity in the world, okay? We do not need it. We already have such negativity with, like, the Donald Trump and the ISIS thing going on and people being overly sensitive, okay? Flip. Of course, we can have a discussion. We have a civilized discussion. We do not need... We just do not need negativity. Or people being, like... Idiots. Or just complete jerks, okay? We just, like, especially jerks say like ranting about the whole game like the xbox the, the deadpool game okay if this is the first time you're watching my video please hit that big red subscribe button down there by my picture if it's still like that for more hauls book reviews unboxing unbagging can some things come in a bubble wrap manila envelope or a plastic pack plastic wrap baggy thingy oh, miss random blogs and random random videos that i have no idea where to categorize them okay i gotta go eat dinner i'm gonna watch my movies now okay Yes! Oh my gosh, and I need a painkiller for my head. Okay, so I will see you all in my next video, which hopefully will be a book review. Bye, everyone.